14.7 to 1, that magic number we all call stoichiometric. Ah, the perfect air fuel ratio. Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. Yep, we're talking about emissions, catalytic converter, what's going on? Well, the first thing we have to understand is what's happening when your car burning these emissions. And what's going on is you have carbon monoxide coming out of the tailpipe. Well, that goes through your catalytic converter and out comes carbon dioxide. You have hydrocarbons, which is just raw gasoline going into that catalytic converter and out comes H2O. And then you have oxides and nitrogen, or NOx going in there. Once that comes out, you should have some oxygen, nitrogen on the other side if it's working properly. Now you can do a five gas analyzation and tell what's going on with your car. Here's a five gas analyzation. What do they do? Well, they actually stick a wand in the tailpipe there, and that's actually gonna sniff the exhaust. You can see the content of what's going on. That CO2 number, well, that's 14%. Anything above 13%, well, your car's running pretty good. Tells you a lot of what's going on inside of your car, your carbon monoxide, your HCs and your O2. What are good numbers? Well, you can see them right there. HCs, 200 parts per million or less. CO's 2% or less. Oxides and nitrogen should be between zero and 7%, and the O2 should be your three or 4%. Now, this chart, this is actually huge. When we're looking at this chart, everything revolves around that 14.7. Everything functions properly. Fluids play a big key in that, especially oil. Tell me why. Well, because basically anything that is in your oil can end up in your exhaust. It's an engine. It isn't perfect. Things sneak past the rings and it ultimately ends up in the exhaust and it can end up in the catalytic converter. Something that you really have to watch when you're building these oils is the anti-wear additives, specifically zinc and phosphorus. We refer to it as zinc. The phosphorus portion of that can poison that catalytic converter and reduce efficiency. The performance that we're seeing out of some of these cars that you can just buy from the dealership now, it's crazy. So you have to go to work building the oil better on the front end versus putting a bunch of Band-Aid additive and zinc and phosphorus on top of it. That's kind of the key there. That way it keeps your catalyst happy. Well, people don't realize it's all emissions related, especially when it comes to fuel injection. Fuel additives are key for that as well. Exactly. This is about maintaining efficiency. So any of these fuel additives are going to help keep the injector spray pattern clean, nice and efficient. It keeps those rings sealing tight against those cylinder walls, keeps those deposits non-existent. You know when that check engine light pops up, it's usually a missions related complaint. So if you want good emissions and performance, where can they go to find these products, Len? Well, they can go to amsoil.com.